This conference will now be recorded. Okay. So, in last class, we have started seeing out here internal tables. So, internal tables are nothing but mainly used to store more than one records uh, when we are processing the program or when we are executing the program. So, how to add the data to your internal tables? So, for that, we do have two types of syntaxes. One is the native SQL syntaxes and open SQL syntaxes. So, in order to update the data in internal table, we will be using the open SQL syntax. Open SQL syntax. So, in that append, insert, modify, and your delete. So, I have already explained you about your append statement, which is used to append the record at the last. So, we have seen you the new syntax as well as the old syntax for all your uh, append, insert, modify, and your delete. So, we have seen the new syntax for append, insert, modify, and the delete, the delete statement. And we have seen the new new syntax. How to how can we update the data using your append statement? And then while we are seeing about uh, uh, how can we pass multiple records at one single shot, or how can we append multiple records at one single shot to an internal table? So when when we are seeing that we are facing an issue, and then we have stopped the class for the day. So now let's get started with that. Guys, can you really hear me? No, yes, we can hear. Okay. Yeah. So I changed to my headset, so that's the reason I'm asking. Now we will be seeing, we are going to see, so how to add multiple records, multiple records in one single statement in one single statement so as you know in in the latest syntax of work area what you will be doing so you will be passing here your work area work area is equal to value hash value hash and you will be passing the field one is equal to the value one and field two is equal to is equal to the value two and then field three is equal to value three like that you will be passing it okay so now if i want to have my internal table to be gets updated so open one more braces open one more braces and now this instead of work area it will be internal table so first add your first record and close your braces then again open the braces add the second record field one is equal to value four and then field two is equal to value five value five and then field three is equal to the value six the value six so like this so repeat the records how many you want and at the last close it with a braces so now so this is my first record and this is my second record so automatically you are adding with one single statement two records so this is only possible this will only applicable when we are uh, when we are when we want to fill the internal table manually manually so manually if you want filling so that means you are filling the values in manually so at that time so this is going to be possible 
this is going to be helpful so in other cases we will be never ever using this statement we will never ever using the statement so let's see that example let me log on to my sap system so now i'm going to sc38 i'll be opening the program of my internal table let's click on change so now how many records i have added fifth records i have added so now what i will do gt underscore mara is equal to value hash value hash and then i'll be just passing one so i'm just opening my braces and closing my braces and then for my first record now i'll be opening my braces for my first record so I'll just copy this entire thing. So now I'm going to take this as material six and side datum minus 40. I'm just going to take, so this is my sixth record. Now I'm going to take this as seventh record. Side datum minus 50 and this i'm going to take this as roh and let's take this as p and material group as four next one more record i'm just going to add the one more record i close this braces one more record so this is my eighth record and then side data minus 60 and this is the one so now do your pretty printer and full stop is missing so do your pretty printer and then let's get activate the code so i'm just activated my code so now let me put a breakpoint over here let me click on execute now how many records are there in my gt mara currently five records now when you are trying to do this see here it will be just changed to three records the existing records will be get deleted the existing records will be get deleted so now when you are using this new syntax you have to see that if there are any existing records or not so if you want that existing records to be also add to your internal table so to you to be keep in your internal table and then add your new records you have to use a statement called as base base so base is a statement which will which will keep the records records as is and and the new records new records will be gets added at the last at the last that means it will act like as the append it will act like as your append so you have to use this base command now what i will be doing here i'm going to pass this as base and you need to provide your internal table you need to provide your internal table so keep the internal table data as is and then try to add these three records so now what i'm going to do i'm going to say this as if i say execute the three records will be get shown in your output now i want this so i'll be just saying this as base gt underscore mara now check this no issues at all now activate this one and now this is the one you have to use this now when i click on execute so now my gt mara will contains five records and then if i say f5 with one single click these three records will be gets added now when i say f8 now see here the three records will be showing the eight records will be showing you in your output so this is how you have to use the 
base statement to get added the previous records as well as the how can we add multiple records in one single go so clear with this guys any questions okay so now i'll be considering it as no questions now the next statement we are going to see is the insert insert so this statement is used to add the records at a particular position at a particular position so now the syntax is insert work area into internal table index you have to use the command called as index and you have to provide your row id the row id so in case if you don't want to use your work area you can use the insert value hash value hash and fill the field one is equal to value one field two is equal to value two value two and so on into internal table internal table index your row id your row id so this is what you have to do it in case of your inter in in case of your insert statement so but can we add multiple records how we are doing with the append so this is not possible with insert this statement is not possible either with insert or modify or delete this statement is not at all possible so remember that okay so now let's go ahead and see about your insert statement so i'm directly jumping into my new statement insert value hash so what is the value i want i'll just copy this one value hash i'm just going to take this as 9 side data minus 70 and uh, roh and then i'll be taking this as uh, uh, let's take this as uh, something g and let's take this as 15 so into into my internal table gt underscore mara index i want to add it row number six so row number six i want this to be gets added now do my pretty printer and let's get activate let's get activate and let me click on execute let me click on execute now if i take this as f5 now see here in my gt mara you will be having eight records and in the sixth position it will be just adding your record it will be just adding your record so if i say f5 see here the sixth position it has added the nine the material nine the material nine. now when i click on execute it will show you your the execute it will show you the output of ninth record at your sixth row ninth record at your sixth row so this is what your this is all about your insert command so the old syntax instead of this you will be passing your work area manually so as of now i just removed my work area see here i am not taking my work area so i'm my work area i'm just filling it internally and now while i was looping the statement while, while i was looping and displaying the data at that time i have created my work area at that time the work area will be gets created so into data this called as your inline declaration so declaring the data declarations when we are writing the statements declaring the data declarations when you are writing the statements is called as your inline declarations remember that okay so this is all about your insert statement insert statement now the next statement is we are going to see the modify modify 
so what is this modify this statement is used to is used to change the existing records of an internal table of an internal table so what is the syntax modify intern modify modify internal table from work area and then index so what is the index you want so you have to specify your row id so now where i am going to use this so usually we will be writing this command the modify statement inside your inside your uh, loop and end loop we used to write this modify statement modify statement inside the loop and end loop loop and end loop inside this loop and end loop we are going to write this modify statement now what is my requirement my requirement is my requirement is my requirement is if the material type material type is equal to roh roh then change the value to change the value to boh let's take boh so this is the one and next one is if m material type is equal to f e r t then change it to z e r t z e r t and if material type is equal to h a l b then then change it to z a l b other than that else change the value to w e r t so this is what my requirement is this is what my requirement now when i am writing this if statement so you can write it manually with using if else condition or you can go ahead and change that with your new syntax what is a new syntax so on which field i want to change gs underscore mara hyphen mtart is equal to condition hash so i know the data element mtart if you know the data element you always pass your data element condition hash when i'll just say this as roh then change it to boh boh now at the same time when when f e r t then z e r t when h a l b then z a l b else w e r t so this is what my condition is so you can just write with the help of your if condition but i am not writing with this or you can also write with your case condition also the case condition now do your petty printer or switch you know that switch statement so you go ahead and practice that i forgot to write this one
so this is the one w e r t now i am just going to activate this one so now when i say this as when i put my breakpoint over here let me remove the breakpoints where we have now let him let me click on execute now my my marty so now see here which is the row we are checking the first row the first row we are checking the site abix will tell us what is the row number we are looping it or we are executing now if i say this has f5 it has changed it to boh now if i go to my gt underscore mara even you can check the first row minus hyphen m t a r t see here it is r o h so you have changed the contents of your you have changed the contents of your work area but not the contents of your internal table but not the contents of your internal table see here you have changed the contents of work area but not the contents of your internal table so if you want to change the content of your internal table then what you need to do you have to use your modify statement i'll just remove this i'll just click on execute see here it has changed the values whatever you want but in the internal table it will not change in order to change that so you need to say modify internal table internal table from work area gs underscore mara so we have changed this in mara in my work area index so what is the index so we don't know which index we are trying to change so we are saying this as sci tabix so we are going to keep this as the sci tabix so which will tell us which record which row we are going to change this so it will automatically just gets updated with 1 2 3 4 5 6 like that so now i'll be doing my pretty printer again i'll just activate the code i'll just click on execute now just oh sorry just keep a breakpoint over here i'll just remove it i'll just click on execute now see here i'm just going to my desktop 3 and now gt underscore mara first of all so gs underscore mara hyphen mta rt i'm going to take gs underscore mara hyphen mta rt it has changed the value to my boh now what is the first record gs gt underscore mara this is my first row my internal table first row and what is the field so roh so now when i say f5 it will change it to boh now if i go to my gt mara directly now it has changed the value to your boh yeah boh now f5 f5 now i'll just change that to w e r t previously it is space now if i go to my second record uh, see here this is space we don't have any value so when when everything is uh, not satisfied we are changing it to w e r t now it will update so like this it will go ahead and update your modify statement with the help of your modify statement it will just update your records of your internal table with the records with the with the values what you are going to change with the values what you are going to change so this is all about your or uh, uh, this is all about your modify statement okay so now the next statement uh, if the next statement we are going to see is uh, the delete statement uh, one second okay so this is what so now the next statement is the delete statement before we go ahead with the delete statement uh, so i'll just going to say how to remove the contents of an internal table 
how to remove the records of an internal table of an internal table so for this we have a statement for work area what is the statement we'll be using we'll be using it as clear for work area for work areas or variables we will be using it as clear whereas for the internal table to remove the contents refresh refresh and then you will be passing your internal table name and then you will be passing your internal table name whatever the internal table you will be having you will just pass your internal table name so now when i go ahead and then i'll be putting it here the refresh i'll just say this as your internal table gt underscore the mara now i'm just going to say this as breakpoint now i'll just do your pretty printer and i'll activate my code and now when i click on execute already the right statement has executed guys so we have changed the contents and we have already deployed our right statement that means the data the data has been displayed now it's time for me to remove see here when i say this as refresh it will just remove the records but you can see the data in your output you can see the data in your output but this refresh is a obsolete statement obsolete statement so right now we are not using this refresh so instead of this refresh we'll be using this as your clear so now so that means from sap from latest versions of sap sap abap 730 onwards so 730 onwards so this statement is this statement we are using to clear the contents to clear the contents of variables uh, internal tables as well as your work areas everything you can able to do it with the help of this clear statement now i'm just going to say this as clear and then i'm going to say this as clear gs underscore mara also so i'm just clearing my mara state sorry yeah mara also now when i say this as activate both will be just activated when i click on execute uh, now see here the 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 mara has been that contents with the contents inside the internal table has removed and even the mara will, will also gets removed the contents so with one single statement we can able to now clear the contents of variables internal tables as well as your work area as well as your work areas so this is what your internal this is what about your uh, the clear statement now activate so now let me let me go to the assignment over here so i want this yeah so now let me take you to one more statement called as your do statement do statement so what is this do statement so the do statement it will also it will also the same like as loop and end loop but if the if you want the same command the same command to be gets executed executed for multiple times for multiple times uh, how many times you want how many times you want you can just provide multiple times then we will use the do statement then we are going to use this do statement the statement the syntax is so do and and do and do so do so how many times you want how many 
times you want and then here you have to provide is times so if i want six times i'll just say do six times if you don't know how many times you want then you will just simply say do and and do then it will go for your infinity loop so if you are writing this it will go for your infinity loop infinity loop how can we come out from this infinity loop we have to use a command called as your exit exit is a command which will come out from the either the loop and end loop statement if you want to come out from your loop and end loop statement or between the do and end do then you will be using your exit statement this will come out come out from the do and end do as well as as well as the loop and end loop uh, the loop and end loop statement so you will be having two statements one is that continue and one is your exit so now first of all we will be just seeing this command and then we will be going with your do statement and then we'll be going ahead with your do statement now continue statement what is this continue if the condition has satisfy if the condition has met and if if you don't want if i don't want the other statements inside the loop to be gets executed other statement inside the loop to be to be gets executed then we will use we will use this continue statement this continue statement then we are going to use this continue statement if the condition has met that means whatever the whatever the condition you have provided has meet your requirement and the other statement of your loop loop so if i go here to my program now let me activate this one more time now here let's say for example this statement i'm just going to remove these three things only this statement i don't want uh, to execute uh, this command i don't want to execute these statements i don't want to execute so now i'll just say this as continue or else you can just also write it over here then i'll be saying this as i don't know whether we can able to return this i'm just seeing it for the very first time also no we can't able to write it here the continue you have to go ahead with your old syntax only old syntax only that means i'll just go ahead and say if gs underscore gs underscore mara hyphen mtart is equal to roh then i want to say continue then i want to say my continue now pretty printer and activate the code now what i am doing i don't want this now let me keep a breakpoint over here let me click on execute so now what is the statement see here it's roh which satisfy our condition now if i say f5 it will just say continue so it will go to your next record see here the site abix has been changed to 2 it didn't go to your modify now here if this mta rt is equal to space it will come and it will display that record it will just display that record now in similarly f e r t which is not equal to then it will come here next h a l b it will come here z r o h it will come here next r o h the condition has met it will go to the next record of your loop next record of your loop so now like this it will just go to your next record see here only few records has been displayed not all the records so this is what your continue statement now coming to your exit statement let's take for example z a l b 
I'm just going with ZILB. We do have this ZILB, I guess. Or else I'll be going ahead with the ZROH. ZROH. Now, instead of this a continue, I'll just say exit. So what it will do, it will not even execute the exit when SAP. So we can use this first. First of all, we can use we can use this statement. Statement in both. In both in two ways. In two ways. One is. One is in between the loop and end loop. Comma do and end do. And do and then the next one is outside of the loop. Outside of the loop. When you write this. When SAP sees this statement. Sees this statement. When SAP sees this statement, then what it will do the next statement the next. The next statement it will not execute. Execute and also and also the next records the next records of that loop will also not execute not get executed that means it will it will come out of the come out come out from the loop it will come out from the loop it's simple terms. It will just come out from your loop. So this is called as your loop uh, exit command. Now when I say this as exit, now when I click on pretty printer, so where is my Z R O H? So the first record is an R O H. The second record we don't have anything. Third record, fourth record, fifth record. So till four records only, it has to show me in my output. Now when I activate this when I click on execute uh, now I'll just remove my breakpoint and I'll just say execute see here four records the fifth record is what your is what your uh, uh, Z or OH from that fifth record it's not done it's not it's not provided the output because it will come out from the loop once it has seen this command it will come out from the loop once it has been seen this command okay clear with this any questions so okay now if you write this outside of the loop it will come out from that program program now if i say this as before this if i just say exit just simple word exit that's it now pretty printer and let's get activate the code and let me click on execute see here it's not showing any output because it is coming out when i say this as execute so till here my my ah uh, what is this till here my 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 cursor has ran and now when i say this as f5 see here it is coming out from that program this coming out from that program it is not even displaying your output so it's your responsibility where exactly you want to write this uh, uh, where exactly you want to write this command so whether you are going to do this inside your inside your loop so then it will be then it will be it will be coming out from that loop if you are writing this exit then it will come out from that program it will come out from that program so this is all about your exit statement. Now the next statement we are going to see is your do and do. Do and end do statements. Do and end do statements. So what is the syntax? If I say this as do, see here, it will show you how many number of times. So let's say for example eight. I'm just say right. I'm just going to say this as. Good morning to everyone. 
good morning to everyone so that's it now do your pretty printer and uh, let's get activate the code so now when i click on execute uh, i just removed my exit yeah so now if i say f8 see here one two three four five six let's say for example i'm just going to say this as if psi tab x psi tab x is equal to five i'll just say this as exit exit and then and if and if now do your pretty printer and let's get activate your code and let me click on execute and now if i say f8 sorry if i say f8 see here or oh, white showing this as i've given it as five let me keep it over here let me remove this statement let's get activate the code now when i click on execute yeah for five Eight. Now F of I. So oh, see here inside the loop where we have the site abix. We have not cleared your site abix. See here inside the loop it is processing. It is showing this as site abix equal to five. So now when my site abix equal to five, it is it is just for it is just showing you only one time. So you have to clear your site abix and then it will work. So this is what your that do statement and how you have to exit your you have to exit your statement. I'll just activate the code. I'll just activate it. So this is what all about your do and end do. So now let's take the assignments. Sorry. Okay. Okay, from here till here to yellow for two. Control C. I'm just going to place that in your batch. Assignment four. So now this is my assignment five. So I need a parameter in my selection screen when the user passes, let's say the value as seven I in the parameter. I need the output in this format. I need the output. If it is eight, then it will be eight, 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 eight. So equilateral triangle you have to define. So in a same way, I need the parameter in the selection screen when the user passes a 21. I need the output one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 so if i say 22 it has to come to my 22 like this it is also an equilateral triangle till 22 it has to stop now this is my assignment 5 assignment 6 now assignment 7 i need two parameters in my selection screen the first parameter determine how many times the output has to be repeated must repeat it and the second parameter will decide the multiplication so now if i take this as 7 and 70 so it has to come 10 20 20 30 30 30 40 40 40 50 50 50 like this so it has to repeat so 7 into uh, so 7 into 10 sorry 10 into 1 so 10 10 into 2 20 20 10 into 3 30 30 30 10 into 4 40 40 40 10 into 5 so like this it has to come so this is my assignment seven now the next one is your assignment eight assignment eight i need the selection i need a parameter in the selection screen if the user has passes the value has seven in the output uh, if the user has passes the value has seven in the input in the input 
then we then i need the following format i need the following format in the output so one it has to repeat two one one two three four three two one so one two three four five six five four three two one one two three four five six seven so like this so assignment nine I need a parameter in my selection screen. If the user has passes the value has five in the input, so I need the following output. So the first replace with the star, the second record it has to be replaced over here like this. It has to replace five, four, three, two, one. So this is the one. So the next one is the same thing. I'm just saying this as one, two, three, four, five like this. So this is the one. This is the one. Now the next record. So I need a parameter in my selection screen. I want to display the prime numbers. So whatever the prime numbers I want, I want to display that. I need the Fibonacci series. The Fibonacci series. So one plus so one plus one, two, two plus one, three, three plus two, five, five plus three, eight, eight plus five, thirteen, thirteen plus eight, twenty one, twenty one plus thirteen. So twenty one plus thirteen is uh, thirty three. 34 so 34 plus 21 like this it has to repeat the statement it has to show me in your output so now i need a parameter in my selection screen uh if the user has passes the value has five i want this to be in the in 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 the reverse order of your right angle triangle and i want to display the composite numbers so this is my 11 12 13 and my 14th assignment so display the composite numbers if the user has passed the 30 other than prime numbers you have to display your composite numbers just give me one second guys so display all your composite numbers so this is what your assignments is so you have to complete these assignments and send me the send me the output to do this email id so i'm just expecting your outputs and in tomorrow's session we are going to start it with your the delete statement the final statement of your uh, uh, the final statement of your uh, internal table is your delete statement so that's it that's the end of today's session before i signing off for today's session any other questions Uh, Ravi, can one request? Can you upload this video as soon as class is over today? So yeah, I have already uploaded the Saturday's class, and I'll be uploading the today's class uh, uh, on or before 4 p.m. today. So I have a meeting from uh, 11 o'clock. I have a meeting at, from 11 o'clock onwards. So once that meeting is completed, I will uh, I'll upload that video. So as Saturday's class, I have already uploaded. Just today morning only, I have uploaded. Okay. okay thanks yeah any other questions guys Ravi, it would be better uh, if you could upload the videos as soon as the class is done so bindu i can understand your concern but uh, the recording has to be provided by the go to meeting app so which will take almost like close to like uh, one hour so by the time i will be in my next sessions after the sessions, I was been uh, uh, I was been logging into my office, so which will I mean I'm not getting a proper time for that, so that's the reason I'm just telling you be on or before 4.